In this video, we're looking at two tennis rackets sent to us by TennisExpress.com. We've got the Vocal PowerBridge 10 Mid and the Vocal PowerBridge 10 Mid Plus. Now, both these rackets use a technology called DNX. And DNX is a carbon fiber nanotube, which is incredibly strong. It's one of the strongest materials on the planet and it's way stronger than the materials that most rackets are made out. So how is it used? Well, I have got the mid plus right now, and let's pretend that the racket head is a clock. And we've got the three o'clock and the nine o'clock, and Vocal has put the DNX technology along the three o'clock here and the nine o'clock. Now let's say that the racket is a towel, and I'm gonna wring the racket out like I was wringing out a towel, and when you do that, the frame warps a little bit. And when you don't hit the ball in the center of the strings, when you hit the ball off center, the racket, most rackets, warp like you were wringing out a towel, and that reduces your control. Well, by putting the DNX technology, these carbon fiber nanotubes along the three and the nine o'clock, this incredibly strong material, the racket is not going to warp nearly as much with those off-center hits, so you maintain power and control. In other words, the racket is more forgiving. These power bridge rackets also have the DNX technology along the bridge here, along the six o'clock position. And when a tennis racket is cast, the outer frame is one seamless piece of material, and then they add the bridge afterwards. They attach it and they file it down so that you can't tell that it's a separate piece. But because it is attached to the seamless outer frame, it is typically the weakest part of the frame. But by using the DNX technology as the bridge, this part becomes incredibly strong and incredibly stiff. So by having this part of the racket really stiff and really strong, well, that increases power because stiffer frames allow you to hit a little bit harder. So the power bridge, this DNX technology, makes this part of the racket stronger, so it allows you to hit a little bit harder. So now we're going to head to the tennis court, and I'm going to hit with these two rackets. Now, when I hit with these rackets, I'm going to use my normal technique, particularly on the forehand, I'll be hitting with a windshield wiper motion and some good racket head speed in there, because these rackets are good for more advanced players, so I'm going to swing like those players would swing. To start, I'm going to hit with the PowerBridge 10 mid, and this racket has a head size of 93 square inches, not a particularly big racket head. It is 11.6 ounces unstrung, and it has a relatively flexible frame and a string pattern that is 16 by 19, an open string pattern, so that makes it a little bit easier to generate spin. Now, with the PowerBridge 10 mid plus, you have a bigger racket head, 98 square inches. It's 11.5 ounces unstrung, so basically the same weight. And it is a stiffer frame. It, I would say this frame is moderately stiff, whereas the mid is moderately flexible. Now, the PowerBridge Mid Plus, the one I'm hitting with now, also has a 16 by 19 string pattern, so that is going to make it a little bit easier like I said before, to generate some spin. So these two rackets, the Vocal PowerBridge 10 Mid and the Vocal PowerBridge 10 Mid Plus are good for advanced intermediates and above players. If you're the type of player that likes a control-oriented racket, well then you'll probably like one of these two sticks. Again, that DNX technology is gonna make the racket forgiving if you don't catch the ball in the middle of the strings. And if you like headlight rackets, well, like I said before, both these rackets are relatively headlight. So if you're interested in demoing either one of these sticks, there's a link below that will take you to tennisexpress.com where you can demo them for free. And if you own one of these rackets, please post in the comments below and let us know what you think about them.